find the values of A and B if limit x tends to 0 x raised to minus 3 sin x plus a x raised to minus 2 plus b is equal to 0. So it is given that the limit of this function is finite value 0 and we need to find a and b. So let's start the given limit can be written as x tends to 0 sin x upon x cube plus a upon x square plus b which is equal to 0 which is a finite value one more simplification limit x tends to 0 I can take LCM and it becomes sin x plus ax plus bx cube and the LCM is x cube equal to 0. So this is the question. It is given finite value 0 and I need to find the value of a and b. So let's start. Limit x tends to 0 sin x plus ax plus bx cube upon x cube. If I put limit x is equal to 0, this will be 0, 0, 0 and this is 0. So this is in 0 by 0 form. By L hospital rule, I'll take derivatives of numerator and denominator limit x tends to 0 derivative of sine is cos x plus a this will be 3 times b x square upon 3 x square let's put the limit one more time when I put x is equal to 0 this will be 1 this will be a and this is 0 so this is 1 plus a upon 0 again it is given that the limit of this function is finite value 0. For it, for it has to be finite value, this has to be in 0 upon 0 form. In that case, 1 plus a must be equal to 0. So which implies a is equal to minus 1. So I will put this value in this limit. So the above equation the above limit becomes cos x minus 1 plus 3 b x square upon 3 x square so I have the value of a now again I am going to put x is equal to 0 so this is 1 minus 1 this is 0 this is also 0 so this is in 0 upon 0 form Again, by L hospital rule, I have to take derivative, let me take extends to 0, derivative of cos is minus sin x, derivative of minus 1 is 0, plus derivative of 3b x square is 6 b x upon 6 x again I am going to put x is equal to 0 so sin 0 is 0 this is 0 denominator is also 0 so is in 0 upon 0 form again by L hospital rule I will take one more derivative limit x tends to 0 derivative of minus sine is minus cos plus 6b 
upon 6. Let's put the limit x is equal to 0. This is minus 1. This is minus 1 plus 6b upon 6. So this is a finite value. And according to the question, the limit is 0. So this has to be 0. So I will take it as 0 because it's given in the question. And this will give me the value of B. Therefore, minus 1 plus 6B upon 6 is equal to 0. Which implies minus 1 plus 6B is equal to 0. Therefore, B is 1 by 6. Therefore, A is minus 1 and B is 1 by 6.